Most NFL teams will not let you bring a water bottle into their stadium. But somehow activists protesting a natural gas project managed to get sophisticated gear into the Panthers Colts game in Charlotte last night. Omar Villafranca is there. And we are tied. For thousands of fans in Bank of America Stadium. There are a couple of fans who are repelling there. And millions more watching on TV. The question was, how did two activists protesting Bank of America repel from the upper deck in a peaceful protest? In 2013, the NFL proposed new security guidelines that limited fans to bring only clear bags like these into games. Security officials use metal detecting wands and do pat downs as fans enter. I've never worked on something that had 70,000 people, like quite this many eyeballs on what we're doing. But one of those protesters, 35 year old Rica Madrid, told us she just walked into the stadium with the repelling gear. I went in just like anybody else would with uh, very little on my person. Um, I had a clear bag just like anybody else would. And, um, and, you got and I got searched. The incident has many security experts, including Carl De La Guerra, questioning the NFL stadium security procedures. It's going to write a new page in the security manuals for stadiums, I'm sure. I, I couldn't imagine how one could sneak in with all that gear on. The head of Bank of America Stadium Security said they're looking into how the gear made it through security. I think if there's one good thing that came out of this, it's that a security deficiency was recognized through a peaceful protest that occurred as opposed to a more violent incident that might have happened. Four protesters were arrested and faced several charges, including trespassing. Now, there is a long list of items that fans cannot take into the stadium. It was raining at last night's game, and Charlie, fans couldn't even bring in their umbrellas. Thank you, Omar.